The long road to the eventual approval of the 2023 national budget began today at the Senate. Although the budget proposal still has a long way to go this early, the Senate Finance Committee Chair assured education will be among the top priorities of the Marcos administration. Eunice Monte has more. The budget briefing in the Senate headed by Senate Finance Committee Chairman Senator Sonia Gara kicked off today. The education sector is still the top priority. The top three is education, infrastructure and health. Sa pagtingin ko, sa pag-aaral so far. So, and then yung agriculture mo kaya. So, for me, those four, very important sa, sa buhay ng bagay na. But the national budget amounting to 5.3 trillion pesos will still have a long way to go. Angara said, just like a basketball game, the Senate is still in the first quarter of the deliberation. Although this is the first budget proposal of the Marcos administration, there is no easy sailing in the Senate, says Angara, so the public can be assured that the senators will scrutinize the contents of the budget proposals. And because food sustainability is the president's priority, there will be additional funding for the agricultural sector. It's not the uh, biggest increase. So I guess reflection din yan ng yung cupcake promises ni President na tutulungan talaga niya yung sector ng agriculture. In relation to this, Senator Ivy Marcos also looked for programs in the 2023 GAA to address the food shortage in the country. Marami siyempre sa DA, ang dami-daming programa sa DA, pero yung direktang sumasagot sa problema ng food shortage, at least may maipakita tayo. According to Marcos, Congress is always generous in giving a budget to the Department of Agriculture, but the fund is just parked and not utilized. We know the money remains with the BSWM. We know that there is a lot of money still with the Philippine Coconut Authority. Ang dami-daming ahensya, pati Filmec. Ang kanilang disbursement nasa 20%. So, ibig ko sabihin, hindi naman ginagastos eh. So, yung gusto namin makita, yung talagang nakatumbok dun sa shortage at saka sa inflationary prices. According to the National Economic Development Authority or NEDA, they will make a roadmap because the whole government approach is needed for the problems of the country. Meanwhile, Senator Alan Peter Caetano spilled the bins on the alleged anomaly in the National Expenditure Program for the infrastructure projects of the Department of Public Works and Highways. Because according to his sources, many have been denied large funds in their districts even though the projects are not yet finished. Maraming mga distrito ay tinanggalan, uh, 25%, 35%, 50%, tinanggalan ng 500 million, 2 billion, 6 billion. Tapos may lumalapit sa kanila, ibabalik namin yung pondo, pero may kontratista ng kasama. He said someone is acting for a new scheme or realignment of funds. In relation to this, Caetano said he will send a letter to Senate President Nick Subiri to question the DPWH Secretary about the alleged anomalous DPWH projects. According to DPWH Secretary Manuel Bunoan, he will look into the information on the expanded fund parking disclosed by Senator Alan Caetano. The budget briefing will be continued tomorrow because the senators target to end the committee hearings in October so that the plenary debates will be done by November and it can be submitted to Malacanang in December. Yunisa Monte for the Nation.